Hi. So, I wanted to do this earlier today, but I didn't have the courage to do it. And after an amazing three hours with a friend, um, I kind of told her about it and she said that I should do it. And now it's winter wonderland here in Wisconsin, blowing. Um, so, I guess I just wanted everybody to know where I'm coming from on a personal level. Um, I know I write a lot, and it's soothing to me. I don't have a lot of balls to get on here and do live videos like most people do nowadays, but I thought what's the best way for people to see how I feel on a personal level, especially for you who have never met me. You only know the pictures that I post. Um, but first I wanna say that I'm here for a reason. I've got God on my side and my babies and my husband. And no matter what Satan tries to do, he will never succeed. He may try, and he may get me low, but he will never take me to that level. A lot of people through this journey have told me I know what you're going through or I can't imagine what you're going through or I know a little bit about what you're going through I don't want to judge anyone I appreciate everything that everyone has said to me and the amount of support that I've gotten from so many strangers. It's just so overwhelming. You may not have had loss in your life, but I know that God put you here to support me. And I am so grateful for all of you especially in my Weight Watchers community. I see the same people constantly looking and commenting. And I know I never say anything just because there's just thousands of people who have reached out to me. And if you know me, you know that it hurts me inside that I can't show my appreciation to every single one of you. But I think for those of you who don't know, I lost my brother four years and ten days. from the time I lost my family. And everyone said I was so strong then too. And I held a lot of guilt for how strong I was compared to the rest of my family. And I never understood that. But I think that he prepared me for this. And I'm not, I'm not mad at God. About my brother, about my family. Does it suck? Absolutely. It sucks for all of us here in this hell on earth 
that have to continue living with the bullshit and the horrible people that just constantly judge. And most of all, we have to live without them. We have to live without their support, without their love, without their happiness. But nothing is greater than knowing that they're in God's kingdom. They're in the most beautiful place. And I can't wait to get there. But I know that I'm here for a reason. I know that I need to make a difference. Whether it's making somebody smile when they're in a bad mood or if I move mountains I'm here for a reason and I hope that you can all back me up when the day comes when I know what my purpose here on earth is I got completely off track now, but the reason I wanted to do this is going back to losing loved ones. You may not have lost somebody that is so close to you that you feel that unbearable feeling. You may have lost some, I mean, you may have lost somebody in your family, but they're a great, great, great something, and the hurt's there, but you get through it, you move on, and you go back to your life. Everybody grieves differently, we all know that, and grief is a horrendous monster with so many faces and you have to face it and everyone faces it differently in different stages and I see it with my mom she's still grieving over the loss of her son and now she lost when she lost her son she lost her grand boys because they weren't able to see them and now she lost her son-in-law and three of her grandbabies. And she's doubting God immensely. She always tells herself bad things happen to bad people. So just seeing the way that she grieves and the way that I grieve, I understand that everyone grieves differently, but I don't think I wrapped my head around it until this tragedy. But the, the biggest thing that you hear and read in the scriptures or in church is fear, fear of death, fear in general. Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate everyone reaching out to me and, and I understand on s some level, some minute level, you get where I'm coming from 
And I'm not saying I'm special. I mean, there are people who have horrible lives. And it's not something that they asked for or have chosen. They're just, that's what they were brought into the world as. Or there are people who don't know what's wrong with them or one minute they're having a baby and the next they're paralyzed and I just I'm not special and everybody has their own story everybody has their grief everybody has their sorrows and their battles and their mountains that they have to climb and some people have died and come back and it's just the day of the accident I faced fear I faced fear of death I told God to take me. I was okay. I was ready. I thought my family was safe. I thought that they were okay. And when I gave up, After seven hours of swimming, I stopped. And I told God, I'm ready. My babies will be okay without their mama. And I gave up. I stopped trying to fight for my family. Because I knew they were okay. And I was drowning in that water. And I was sleeping. And I don't know for how long. But I know a huge wave crashed over me and snapped me out of it. And I choked out the water. And that's when I seen the light of the boats. And it took a half an hour for them to get to me. I thought my family was okay. And I was saved. We were all okay. And three hours later is when I found out that they weren't. They found my babies and my husband. And I remember I just kept praying, please, God, let Kira be okay, please. I need Kira. She has been my biggest cheerleader through so many things in my life that I've struggled with. And I just said, please let her be okay. I need her to be okay. And the next day they found her. And they told me that she had made it to land. And I thought, oh my God, she's okay. I'm going to have my baby. But she wasn't okay. She was... She wasn't okay. 
So, if you know somebody who has lost their entire family and faced fear of death, I want to hear their story. I need all the support I can get. Everyone says I'm so strong, I'm so strong. But I don't feel that I'm strong. I just tell people I'm still kicking. Still fucking swimming. But I'm so tired of swimming. So tired. So I pray hard. And I look for your support. And I appreciate your support. Especially on the days when the devil thinks that he can bring me down. But I plan to move a mountain for my family.